आडिनो ओपला आयोटी किट an entry level kit from Arduino that lets you make various IoT projects with its built-in plug and play type sensors so you can easily make your IoT projects without worrying about wiring shouldering and hardware just plug the sensors code for it and you're good to go for making your IoT projects so in this video I'll be covering everything regarding this particular kit like what are the box contents what is included inside this particular kit what are the specifications of the board how to use this particular board i'll let you know how i uploading an example code what different kind of projects you can make using it how to activate the maker's plan that is included inside this particular kit and in the end i'll conclude this video and let you know whether you should go for this kit or not so there is a lot of learnings inside this single video about this opla iot kit from arduino so let's get started now before starting the video, let me tell you an amazing feature of our sponsor LDM which is a PCB designer based software company and that feature is called as interacting with customers. Using LDM you can easily share your PCB design file maybe 2D or 3D and even schematic by just adding their email ID in the list. The client will receive a link using which he or she can easily visualize your schematic and PCB files without downloading any software on their system. Isn't this hassle free? Well, even you can try out this and many other features of LTM designer software for absolutely free by clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking that link, you'll be getting an access of a free trial version of LTM designer software. And if you find it interesting, you may purchase it later on. Now talking about the box content then, on the front, it has Arduino Opla kit branding on it. And it also says it has 12 month subscription of create maker plan included with this kit. On the back, we get to see what's included in this kit and also at the bottom, this stated 8 different projects that we can make using this kit. Now of course we can make way more than 8 projects using this kit whose tutorials you can easily find on internet but these 8 projects are those projects whose detailed step by step guide is provided by Arduino team which you can easily find on the official Arduino website and trust me those articles are really well written and well explained as well. So yeah that was all about the box content now let's unbox it and let's see what we are getting inside it. As we open the box, the first thing we get to see is this Arduino MKR IoT carrier board which has all the sensors and connectors attached on it. I'll talk about its specifications later in this video. Now here we also get a coupon code to activate 12 months maker create plan which we'll use later while interfacing this board with the Arduino IoT cloud. Now under this, we get the Arduino MKR Wi-Fi 1010 board which is the actual brain of this kit. This board is based on SAMD21 chip with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on board. Now I won't be going into detail about this board as I have made a dedicated detailed getting started video on this Arduino Wi-Fi 1010 board whose link you can find in the i button as well as in the description of this video. So do watch that video out to know everything about this board and how to use it. Now this board gets easily fitted on the back of the carrier board and we can program this via USB cable. Putting it aside as of now, so in the box we also get a PIR motion sensor, a capacitive soil moisture sensor, after that we get a plastic box with its cap which gets easily attached by snap fitting without using any screws. This box is really very nice, much better than those 3D printed cases. After that we get some screws to attach the carrier board with the box, a USB cable to program the board and couple of connecting wires for the sensor. So this is all you get inside this kit. Now let's focus on the actual carrier board. So on the front of the carrier board, we get to see the circular color display, five capacitive touch sensors, five RGB LEDs on top of each touch sensor, a temperature sensor, humidity sensor, a light sensor, which can also sense RGB color and gesture, barometric pressure sensor, and IMU. Now on the back, we have a SD card slot, a 18650 battery connector, piezo buzzer, three groove connectors for connecting external sensors, and two relays. Now one thing which you need to take a note of is, at the output side of the relay, you can connect only up to 24 volt. Yes, that's the maximum supply you can provide to this relay, not more than that. 
So that was all about the carrier board specifications. And yes, definitely this carrier board has a lot of things built in, which is ready to be used. Okay, so after getting the knowledge about the specification, let's try to test each sensor out and let's see how it works. Now, after researching a bit about the codes for this particular board, I found out on the official Arduino website that they have given a kind of an all-in-one demo code to test out all the built-in sensors on the IoT carrier board, okay? So here is that particular code. You just need to click on this icon to download this code. I have already downloaded it and opened it into my Arduino IDE, okay? Now to test this demo code, you need to have two things installed onto your system. One is this Arduino MKR Wi-Fi 1010 boards packages. And second is this Arduino MKR IoT carrier library, okay? I'll guide you with the steps like how you can install it, okay? For the boards, you just need to go to tools, into boards, and into boards manager and here just type mkr wi-fi and you just need to click on the install button to install these boards and for the library you just need to copy this go to sketch include library into manage libraries here just paste that thing and press enter and then you just need to click on the install button and this library will be installed onto your arduino id as well that's pretty much it now you can directly upload this board onto the arduino board and now let us see what is this demo code all about and let's test all the sensors out okay so code started running and we are able to see the arduino logo on the screen right now and it says arduino mkr iot kit let's start the setup of the hardware yes let's start so first of all, it says press all the buttons, okay? And let's try to touch the button number zero. Oh, the sensitivity is amazing. And as we touch the button, the light turns to green. Let's try another button. Okay, it turned green again. Let's try the second number button. It turned into green. Okay, so we tested all the uh, five sensors, like five touch sensors. Now it's showing the temperature 25.17, humidity uh, 38.95 and pressure as 100.33 okay so we tested all the three sensors now let's test the imu so it says shake your device let's try to shake it out okay the movement sensor is also checked now it's the color detection time now as i said it also detect the color so it says cover the screen or cover the sensor with the white object so i don't have a white object as of now but i have this arduino box so i'll show this box because this is white in color okay i'll show it in front of the screen okay so color is detected color sensor is also working fine now it says gesture detection let's try it out so uh, move your hand left uh, up down left right in parallel to the board let's try with the up now okay up sensor is detected down gesture is also detected or uh, left is not okay left detected and right detected all the four gestures are detected successfully now what we are left with, oh, we are left with the relays, of course. Let's test the relays out. Okay, relay one on and off. Let's just try to press the on button. Okay, as you can see, the relay one turned on with this orange LED. Let's turn it off. Okay, it got turned off. Let's try the next relay because we have two relays on the board. Relay two, relay two on, which is detected here, and relay two off. Yeah, relay is also tested. Let's just click on the next button. Let's see what we are left with. Okay, the buzzer. Great. It says hardware setup done and it also uh, you know, played the buzzer sound. So we have also tested the buzzer. So everything on the IoT carrier board is successfully working and it is an amazing code which tests out all the sensors. Now let's move ahead and see what we are getting inside the maker plan and how to activate the maker plan using the coupon code. So now to activate the 12 months maker subscription plan, first you need to go to the Arduino IoT cloud website and now here log into your account. After logging in, just click on your profile icon and select my plans. So here is your current plan. In my case, it is free. So I'll click on modify plans. Now here, along with this kit, we are getting the makers plan subscription and this maker plans include 25 things, unlimited compilation time, unlimited sketch storage, and so many other benefits as compared to the free version. So after selecting it, click on add billing information. After that, click on add payment information. And now here, click on add discount code. Write down your coupon code, which you are getting inside the kit. And after that, click on the apply button. As you can see, we are getting the 100% discount using this coupon code. Now after that, just fill up your card details and click on purchase plan. So yeah, congratulations. You got the 12 months uh, maker subscription plan for absolutely free. 
Okay, so we have covered a lot of things about the Opla IoT Kit, starting from unboxing, specifications, how to upload the code on it and test different different sensors, how to activate the maker subscription plan. And now let us move ahead and test out those eight projects which were written by Arduino team, which is uploaded onto their website. Let's go through each of the project and let's see what you are learning from every project. Let me go through that. Okay, so here are those eight projects written by Arduino team, uh, which is listed inside the Arduino website. I'll leave its link in the description of this video. And what I'll do, I'll go through each of the project here in this video. I won't be testing each of them right now, but I'll let you know what the project contains and what you'll be learning by doing each of the project. Let's start with the first one, which is the remote controlled light. So using this project, you'll be able to control the relays attached onto the uh, uh, carrier board, uh, the LEDs like the RGB LEDs attached onto the carrier board using Using Arduino IoT Cloud. So by you know making this project, you'll be able to uh, learn how to use the relays attached onto the board and how to control the uh, colors of the RGB LED. So that you'll be learning by doing this project. Second is this personal weather station. So uh, as the name uh, suggests, it's a weather station. So you'll be able to uh, fetch the data of the temperature sensor, humidity sensor. Uh, what you can say um, pressure sensor okay so these data you can fetch uh, from the sensor and it will be displayed onto the color display of this Opla IoT kit okay so that you will be learning like how to access data of all different sensors that you will be learning in the second project third is about the home security alarm this is very interesting because here uh, you will be able to learn how to interface the PI and motion sensor with this particular kit not only that it will also detect if there is movement on the table or the desk on which the project is put on with the help of the in, uh, internal IMU and it will also be able to uh, detect if there is a light in that particular room. So if there is excess amount of light, then also it will be detecting as an alarm. Okay, so three different alarms, motion sensor, light sensor and the, you know, a shake sensor, you can say. Okay, so these three things you'll be learning in this particular project. Moving ahead, uh, we have a smart garden. So obviously we'll be able to use the soil moisture sensor in this particular project to detect the moisture level of the soil. Not only that, you'll be also able to detect the uh, lightning condition, whether it is too much bright or uh, less light. Every Thing you're able to see uh, that is required for the plantation also you'll be able to uh, you know sense the moisture and temperature level so these all data you'll be getting uh, into the arduino IoT cloud by making this project okay moving ahead which is thinking about you so this name is a bit confusing like what you'll be able to guess by reading this particular thing but yeah this project is all about a chat system in which you'll be able to send the data from the iot carrier board to the iot cloud account and vice versa as well okay so you can uh, like if you shake this device uh, device it will send the data as handshake onto the iot cloud okay so this is how you'll be able to communicate using this device and arduino iot cloud okay next is inventory control so inventory control is all about storing the data of uh, how many uh, x devices we have how many y devices we have okay so we can update the inventory using this uh, capacitive touch sensor on the board and you can visualize the inventory on our arduino IoT cloud as well as the color display okay so that's the project okay so here you'll be learning how to use this capacitive touch sensors okay and uh, moving ahead we have the thermostat control so here you'll be able to get the data of temperature and humidity and here you'll also be having a couple of buttons onto the Arduino IoT cloud platform so if it is too hot you can turn on the cooler if it is too cold you can turn on the heater okay using the cloud account so that thing you will be making in this particular project so you'll be learning how to use the temperature and humidity sensor basically okay straight after that uh, the last project is solar system tracker now this is a bit different from what we have discussed till now as this project will be using the apis okay so using this you'll be able to fetch the data of different different planets and by using the capacitive touch button you can retrieve the information like how many moons are there of this planet how many uh, light years uh, away this planet is from Earth. So this kind of information you can fetch by calling the APIs and you can display it on the screen by touching the buttons. Okay. So these eight projects are very really well written by the Arduino team and you can try out all the projects. So by trying out all these eight projects, you will be able to use almost all the things that is included inside this carrier board as well as inside the kit. And definitely this is not it. You can make way, way more projects by adding more sensors to it, more uh, uh, interfaces to this particular thing you can definitely make tons of IT projects out of it so yeah uh, that was all about this project discussion now let us move on to the conclusion of this video 
Okay, so now let's come to the conclusion. So undoubtedly, this kit is a great kit to get started with IoT project because you can learn a lot out of this kit, like how to use the sensors, how to, how to use the APIs, okay, APIs to call the data from the cloud server, how to use the Arduino IoT cloud and so many stuff. You're gonna learn without worrying about shouldering and wiring at all. Just focus on uh, the sensor specification, just focus on the code and you are good to go. And majority of time you don't need to attach external sensors as most of the sensors are built in on the carrier board so it's just like a plug and play so now if you find this kit interesting and useful you can definitely purchase this kit by clicking on the link mentioned in the description and of course if you like this video and like the getting started video and explanatory video do click the like button and motivate us so that we can make more such videos just for you guys also do let me know like what kind of projects do you think we should make using this particular kit as this kit will be sitting in the studio only okay so do let me know your suggestion your project ideas that can be made using this kit down in the comments of the video and we'll definitely try to make a project just for you guys so yeah that was all about this opla iot kit video subscribe my channel if you want to see more such getting started videos of these and many different kind of iot devices and electronic kits and that being said i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next one then explore learn share with me techie sms